Good morning and welcome to Living Local 15. I'm your host, Jessica Williams, and we are kicking off this week in an exciting way. We're only two days away from Valentine's Day, and what better way than to explore some last minute gifts? So I'm taking you inside of Meyer Megastore to see how you can build your own flowers and also check out their chocolates, decor, and so much more. And then a little later, it's Money Monday and Foster Financial will join me in studio. Are you ready? Let's get started. And joining me now is Scott Hoffman, the store director. Hi, Scott. Hello, Justin. How are, How are you? you? Good to see you. Good. Okay, so this Meyer and all Myers in the city really is a one-stop shop for anything someone will need for Valentine's Day. Absolutely. And so I know you guys have so much going on. So kind of give me a rundown of what people can get here. <laughs> Absolutely. We have really everything that you would need for Valentine's Day. We have, you know, you, from the basic greeting card to flowers of all varieties and bouquets and then any kind of candy any kind of plush toys that you would like yeah but we just we just have everything that you would need yeah i'm pretty sure this time of year is really fun okay so you have been here for 28 years which is incredible and you see so many different holidays roll through do you have a favorite i well christmas is always my favorite yeah. but um they are all fun because really the holidays bring us an opportunity to make a difference for the customers and really celebrate and have a big event. So, yeah, 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 I absolutely. love that. Okay, so let's get into some of these flowers because you have pre-made flower bouquets, yep, absolutely. which are so beautiful. And so people can select from this and then also you have an assortment behind us. So tell me about some of the flower options that will be coming in. We, we will have a huge amount of flowers coming in early to Valentine's week and um, the selection will be huge. Yeah. I mean, we really wait until that holiday is very close because Valentine's is very last minute. Yeah. And so we have we want the freshest to be available for the holiday. Mm -hmm. So we've got a lot of product coming in, just the variety, carnations, roses, any anything you would want. As well as well as potted plants, which some people want yeah. you know, the green thumb, you know, you want a potted plant that will last a little longer. Yeah, and that's such a great point about the freshness. So Valentine's Day is in two days and now is the best time to come in, get your flowers, get your balloons so they're not deflated, right? Absolutely. And have them nice and fresh. And then also people can buy bigger and larger gifts like this really cool bag here. Yeah, that is a very popular ba um, rose bag, a rose in a bag basically. Right. But it's it's a, a tote with a nice vase and uh, it's got great great fresh roses in it. Yeah, so. and so I know over the years Valentine's Day colors are the typical reds, um, maybe pinks. How have you seen the color scheme evolve over the years? Are people going with funner options? Well, I think there is a variety. Sometimes you you know obviously red, pink, white is is the standard and that's the best seller. But you do see some. Some people going in for more of the pastels or more wow. of the bright colors. So mm -hmm. definitely has evolved a little bit over the years for yeah, sure. Yeah, I love it. And then so you can get it pre-made, go ahead and get your boss and take it away like this. But then you also offer a build your own bouquet. We do. Which is so cool. So we give do. me um, a rundown of how that works. So build your build your own bouquet is kind of a new program that Meyer has uh, brought out last year. And it really, um, our flower assortments that come in a smaller assortment so you can pick the different varieties that you want and then kind of build your own bouquet and it's yes. very easy to do uh, basically anybody can do it all right so. well anybody can do it we're gonna do it let's build a bouquet all right <laughs> All right, look at my beautiful bouquet I just picked. And so now we're gonna build it. So let's use this beautiful pink vase because right. that goes with the theme. And so where should we get started? All you really need is a pair of scissors. And uh -huh. I'm telling you, it's so easy that even I can do it. Mm -hmm. So basically you can you know, pick any of the bouquets that you would like to, to put in, but you basically 
can ju just, and you can either leave the rubber band on or you can take it off and kind of uh -huh. spread them apart. Oh, so is there any need then, to actually cut it, like cut the stems at the bottom? Again, personal choice, but okay. no, not from a, uh, not from a fresh standpoint because they're already they're already cut. Okay. And so now I would obviously add, add water to, yes. the, to, to keep it uh, fresh a little longer. Mm-hmm. But again, you can basically arrange it any way that you would like. Yes. Very nice. So I see your strategy starting with the green, kind of place that and make that just kind of the foundation and then add the little color to it. Correct. Oh, very and then nice. We can kind of sporadically. Oh, and I like the way you did the bottom there. We can see how you kind of got it crisscrossed. Yeah, because that kind of holds angles. it into place a little bit. Oh. And so when people do cut the stem, does that allow for them to really adjust the tightness of the it, amount it of flowers could, yeah, in it? Okay. It could, absolutely. And some baby's now the baby's breath, breath you might. <laughs> oh. And you could even cut that a little bit, just mm -hmm. if you wanted some a little lower, but basically. Sometimes you get caught up, but right. you can put maybe yeah. a couple down on that side. Oh yeah, that's looking good. It is looking good. Yeah, bring some, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Bring some up in the middle. And just like that. And there you go. And that Look. that's just a great way to <laughs> Add your own personal touch to right. the arrangement that you're buying. You so. can say, hey, I made this flower <laughs> bouquet just for you. Absolutely. So let's talk about the food. Because I know sometimes there's a question about how often should you put the um, flower food in the bouquet? Well, I think that's, if you put a flower food in there, I'm, I'm not a floral expert, but I think mm -hmm. they last several days. But again, I, I would definitely put water in it and then mm -hmm. add water every couple of days to they basically give it a longer life. Yeah, so. give it a longer life. All right, and just like that, just like you said, it was so easy, Scott. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so you can build your own bouquet, admire, and look, we cannot forget, got to add, add in maybe a little balloon. There you go. Make it really special for the occasion. Okay, so throughout your store, you have chocolates and decor all around. Absolutely. So will you give me a little tour? Absolutely, let's, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs>